Um, but again, this is an autonomous flight like we've seen with Dragon uh, in the past and our four crew members are riding comfortably, it appears. Their visors are still up. Um, once we get closer to that deorbit burn, we anticipate to hear a call from the core to the crew to go ahead and lower their visors. It's a really a smooth ride up and down. And uh, one of the, the you know, different things that I saw on the spacecraft, the Dragon, is uh, during the re-entry, I was able to see the, uh, the plasma of the, uh, during the atmospheric entry. So we had uh, like a firework and then with the glow of the air for a long time. So I was able to enjoy the light show during the entry. It was really impressive. Um, as well as to LIDAR range finders. Um, so those Dragon Eyes, there are two of them on board Dragon, um, and those will be critical uh, for the, the docking uh, approach of Dragon Endeavor to the space station. So there, as I mentioned before, that nose cone, you can, you can see with better detail. And then when Crew 6 arrived, it was cool to see it through their eyes for that first time. You know, when you get out there and you're floating around and you're kind of unsure and you're, and you're unsteady, uh, and to see how quickly they, Crew 6 was adapting, to see how quickly they were picking up on you know, all the maintenance tasks and all the daily tasks that we were covering during handover. Uh, you can see that, that journey in yourself and, and in your crewmates, how much you change. Uh, during that time and how you adapt. And it was uh, really uh, nice, I think, just to take a moment and to appreciate that and have that perspective. Sultan Al-Nayari comes on board the International Space Station.